Vignapari and today we are here to start the lecture series of the Mathematics 2. Today our topic is Convolution Theorem of the Laplace Transform. This is the most important topic in the Laplace Transform for the GTU exam as well as GATE exam and it is also important for the, this chapter. So, Convolution Theorem is given to the two variable, two functions merging for so convolution theorem if laplace inverse f1s equal to f1t and laplace inverse f2s equal to f2t then f into g equal to l inverse f1s f2s equal to integration 0 to t f1u f2 t minus u du this is the statement of the convolution theorem if we say that uh, inverse of f1s is f1t, inverse of f2s is f2t, then if we are applying convolution, this is a definition of the convolution, where star is a notation of the convolution, f star g is l inverse f1s into f2s equal to integration 0 to t f1u f2 t minus u d. Proof. f1s f2s equal to l f1t plus f2t. Okay. So, 0 to infinite e raised to minus su f1 u du, 0 to infinite e raised to minus sv f2 v dv. We are taking 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity it is e raised to minus s u plus v f1 u and f2 v du dv. 0 to infinite f1 u integration 0 to infinite e raised to minus s u plus v f2 v dv dv. We are taking u plus v equal to t and dv equal to dt. So, we get v equal to 0 and t equal to u. v equal to infinity, t equal to infinity. Okay. So, it is f1s, f2s, integration 0 to f infinite, f1 u. Integration u to infinity e raised to minus st f2 t minus u dt du. Now, taking limit in the graphical formation, we are taking u equal to 0, u equal to t, t and u. There, there is an old limit and it is a new limit. Okay. So, 0 to infinite u to infinity e raised to minus st f1 u f2 t, t minus u dt du. To change the order of integration, old limit of t equal to u to infinite, but this is a start from the horizontal strips, taking u equal to 0 to infinity. So, what is our new limit of the t, t equal to 0 to infinity, then u equal to 0 to t. Applying this limit, we get 0 to infinite e raised to minus st, 0 to t, f1 u f2 t minus u du dt. So, it is Laplace integration 0 to t f1 u f2 t minus u du. This is the formula of the convolution theorem. Find f1 star 1. First of all, f1 u is 1. f2 u, it is also 1. We are replacing it is f1t, it is 1, f1t minus u, so it is f2t minus u, it is also 1. As per the formula, 0 to t, f of u, f of t minus u, du, okay. So it is 0 to t, 1 du, so it is u 0 to t. So, answer is t of the 1 star 1. Inverse Laplace transform find 1 upon a square plus a square whole square using convolution theorem. See, this example is also solved by the partial fraction. But in exam, uh, paper setter are given instruction to find the inverse Laplace transform this example using convolution theorem. Okay. So, first of all, we are taking a two function. First one is f1u 
एंड एक्स फाइंड इनवर्स लैपलास टाइम सम ऑफ वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर दिस एग्जांपल इज आल्सो सॉल्व बाय द पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन बट वी आर सॉल्विंग दिस एग्जांपल यूजिंग कन्वोल्यूशन थ्योरम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू फाइंड टू फंक्शन वन इज एफ वन यू सेकेंड वन इज एफ टू यू एफ वन यू इज वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर एफ टू यू इज वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर सी मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस टू फंक्शन इज वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर नाउ टू फाइंड एफ वन टी वट इज एफ वन टी एफ वन टी इज वन अपॉन ए साइन ए टी Similarly, f two t is one upon a sine t. But in second function, we get f of two t minus u. So it is one upon a sine a t minus u. And this is f one u. So it is one upon a sine a u. We get two function. Okay. Now, what is the formula? Formula is zero to t, f one u, f two t minus u, du. Zero to t. What is f one u? One upon a sine a u into one upon a sine A t minus u du. Okay, taking one upon a common, one upon a square. Taking one upon a square common, zero to t sine a u sine a t minus u du. Multiplying Two and divide by two, we get two SS rule. What is two SS? Two SS is cos alpha minus beta. So AU minus AT plus AU minus cos AU plus AT minus AU du. Okay. So it is one upon two a square zero to t cos. 2 AU minus 80 minus cos 80 du. Taking integration, 1 upon 2 A square cos 2 AU, so it is sine 2 AU minus 80 upon 2 A coefficient of u minus cos 80 is a constant with respect to u, so it is u cos 80. Zero to t. Upper limit minus lower limit. We get sine two eighty minus eighty. So it is sine eighty by two a minus t cos eighty. Applying sine zero here, sine zero. So it is lower limit minus, and due to odd function of minus, it is sine eighty upon two a. And it is zero. Two sine eighty by two a, so it, we get one upon two a square as sine eighty upon a minus t cos eighty. Okay. One upon two a square. Sin eighty plus sin eighty, so it is sin eighty by a minus t cos eighty. The last answer. So this is a convolution theorem. Next example: Find inverse Laplace transform of one upon s s square plus four. F one t f one s is One upon s, f two s is one upon s square plus four. Now, 
f one t. So find the inverse. It is one f two t It is one by two sine two t. As per the formula, we take f one u is a one, and f two t minus u. That means one upon two sine two. T minus u. If you want to take f one s equal to one upon s square plus four and f two s equal to one upon s, then it is also soluble by this form. So what is here f one t? F one t is one upon two sine two t. Here is f of t is one. F one u one upon two sine two u and f two f two t minus u is One. So it is easy to solve. Now, if we are applying zero to t, f of u, f one u, f two t minus u du. We are taking second pairing. So zero to t, f one u is one upon two sine two, sine two u, f two two u is one du. One by two, sine two u is cos two u by two. Zero to t, one by two, minus cos two t plus one. So answer is one minus cos two t by four. So this is the answer of the example. This is our convolution theorem.